cloud is advancing technology and the way we do business. It delivers insight into how we interact with our customers and employees. It optimizes our workflow and informs decisions. It changes the way we think about products and the way we make them. With the cloud, optimization and growth are only the beginning. Data is the future and is here. The single market in the EU has no internal frontiers to hinder the free movement of capital, goods, services and people. These are the four fundamental freedoms. Data acts as the enabler of those freedoms, although its movement in and between the public and the private sector is often stuck. The public sector in all of the EU member states is gathering data about their citizens to enhance their service delivery. They have information on people's educational, economic and health-related behaviour, but people cannot take this with them digitally when they leave their countries. The increased movement of people has caused a dramatic rise in the number of transactions made on paper. To develop efficiency and decrease our ecological footprint, those actions should be transferred into digital channels. Treating data as the fifth freedom could accelerate the EU's economic growth and technological advancement, as well as improve the quality of services both in the public and private sector. This would enhance data exchange across borders. All public service providers outside of one's home country, like schools and hospitals, would be up to date on any subject. This could save time, help make better informed decisions and even open new doors to preventative actions in minimising criminal activity. For the private sector, this would also be an opportunity. For example, with their client's consent, all the information on driving and insuring motor vehicles could be available for interested parties across borders. While travelling or moving to another country, the client could agree on the insurance data to be used by a third party and therefore receive a discount for being a safe driver. New technologies like AI also need access to data to function to the best of their ability. At the moment we have no clear idea what kind of data is gathered about us by different service providers. We simply have no access to it. At the same time, large corporations sell people's data to service providers, being the only ones benefiting from the co-generated data. Currently, not accepting arduously long take-it-or-leave-it user agreements brings about situations where users do not have access to the service, while a simple solution easily understandable explanations on gathering and further analysis of data could make the situation more transparent. That data should also be made easily transferable to other service providers. All of this would incur a principal change in attitude, such that people would be seen as subjects entitled to have a say in how the data which they help generate will be managed. This would also benefit companies as people can bring their data from sectors where it was previously inaccessible. With the data protection regulations of 2018, people gain the right to port personal data. Additionally, such rights should be widened to include non-personal data. 
So whenever a person buys a smart device, they should also be able to have access to and the right to send that data to third parties for reuse. This approach would make people more aware of exactly what they are sharing. Data, as the most valuable resource of the information age, will change how we work, live and do business. It is important that this asset is not controlled by a few players. The EU needs to find solutions on how data could be shared and accessed in a trusted and flexible manner. Such a framework would enable treating data as an asset and an input for other products and services. This would result in better quality services and more products on offer, thereby cutting the overall cost. Free movement of data aims to remove digital barriers and help the EU stay at the cutting edge of innovation. No matter what business you're in, you're now in the business of data. Data helps us make choices, create things people want, and deliver them how they want them. Soon, there will only be data-driven businesses, because customers won't do business with anyone else. With big data, we've come to expect big responsibility. In order to handle the complexity of today's data, you need to spend a lot on hardware, plan ahead for scalability, and pour hours into system architecture. It's no joke. And this just gets you up and running. You still need someone, no, a team, to make sure everything's running smoothly. And even after all that headache, running queries can still take anywhere from minutes to hours, and mistakes can be costly. Wouldn't you rather focus on finding insights from your data than developing the infrastructure around it? Google BigQuery is a fully managed data warehouse that removes setup hassles and runs queries rocket fast. Fast enough to analyze terabytes of data in seconds, petabytes in minutes. Google BigQuery works on a pay-as-you-go basis. You only pay for the bytes processed. What if you have a really big query? It's simple. We'll spin up an entire data center to quickly process it for you. Just sit back and let us handle the scaling. Google BigQuery encrypts, replicates, and deploys your data across multiple data centers for maximum durability and service uptime. With just a couple of clicks, you can control where you store your data. Sharing and collaboration are easy as well. You decide who can access your data. And because you can use standard SQL queries, anyone can get involved. Plus, BigQuery integrates with Google Cloud Platform products and other software. So you can readily load, process, and make interactive visualizations of your data. It's never been easier to analyze massive data sets and find insights fast with Google BigQuery. Head to cloud.google.com slash BigQuery.